Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! So, right at the end of the break, got another person making a phone call. This time from the developer, Liz. Good morning, Roboboy. This is Liz. Did I wake you? Do you want to battle? I'm going to win this time. Waiting for you around Route 32. I'm pretty sure that was also before Union Cave. So, no. You're too far away. Soon enough, though, I'll be able to battle you guys. Now then, who is ready for the game corner? I am! So, I actually really like this place. I don't spend a ton of time here, but it's pretty cool. I won't quit until I win. Uh, I will probably quit even if I don't win, because I am streaming and we don't have all day. Still, it's gonna be interesting. Card flip, I prefer it over the slots because it's easier to figure the odds, but the payout is much lower. Life is a gamble. I'm going to flip cards till I drop. I just love this new slot machine. It's more of a challenge than the ones in Celadon. That's a good thing? Out of curiosity, we just got this coin case. How much is in it? Nothing. I was hoping it would have a little something. Unlike in Generation 1, you can't just talk to people and they'll give you money to start with. You actually have to spend your own money in order to use some coins for gambling. Thankfully, we do have some amount of money, so we can go ahead and start with a 50. And out of curiosity, what you got? We exchange your king coins for fabulous prizes. You have three TMs. I don't know what those TMs are. You unfortunately do not tell us. But they are vanilla. The same as they always are, whatever they are. Now the prize. Pokemon, on the other hand... What do you have? Corsola, Taros, and Togetic. Not entirely interested in Corsola. Taros would be interesting, but... Probably not. Togetic is certainly a thing. But not worth 2100 coins, I feel like. So probably gonna ignore these for the most part. Regardless, how much for one of these CMs again? 5500. Well, the odds of us getting that amount is kinda slim. Still, though, it's at least worth showing these games off. Let's start with the slot machines. Actually, let's back out and save the game first. Because, yes, I am going to cheese this. So, I love the game corner. It makes me depressed to think that the game corners are no longer a thing in the Pokemon games. Because of gambling laws in various countries, Well, that, that happened. They are no longer in Pokemon games. The casino was available in the Japanese version of Heart Gold and Gold Silver, but for the um, localized release outside of Japan, this was replaced with a really awful minigame called Voltorb Flip. It's basically Minesweeper, and mechanically it's not bad, it's actually kind of interesting. The problem is, the payout is not really worth it. It, wakes, it takes way too much effort to win way too little money. On the bright side, the reason they are able to get away with it is because you aren't actually gambling away your money like I am right now. 
But I really wish that they had come up with something... better. Either something better, or something that has a bigger payout. I could probably try to time this. But you saw what happened earlier, by the way. These slot machines have this interesting mechanic where sometimes the final reel will do something kind of strange. There's actually more than one thing that can happen. You saw the one, there's also this one where boulders drop on top of the reel, and if you're really lucky, Chansey will appear and just give you the winning slots. Also, that can happen. Yeah, let me see if I can attempt to time this one. Maybe I will get... Oh, you're right, those are golems, strike back. I always thought they were boulders, but no, those are golems. Huh. It would be really cool if I managed to get Chansey on camera. As this all happens, I technically do have it on camera. I attempted to uh, stream this game a while back and got it on camera. Unfortunately, I completely forgot to grab that recording for the sake of this stream. Otherwise, I would be showing it off right now. Stop there, please? No. Just gonna keep on doing this until either Chansey happens, or Rubber Boy runs out of money. Odds are, Rubber Boy will just run out of money. Maddie says, oh yeah, Chansey can show up on this. What does it do again? Basically, uh, Chansey will give you triple sevens. Uh, my timing is off. Actually, I think it's more than just timing. I think that these are genuinely rigged. Because I tried slowing this down before so that I could get the timing better, but it seems like the game actually makes an effort to delay your button press. So even though on like the first two reels you press it and it's instantaneously, on the last one it might be delayed, or it might not. It depends on whether you are pressing it with good timing or not. Maddie says there's usually one machine that pays out more. Uh, the reason I specifically chose this machine is because this is the machine where I got Chansey on. So kind of hopeful that that happens here. Oh sure, now we get a 7 on that last one. Kinda, let's speed this up a bit here. It is a shame that I don't have that footage prepared. It's not even on my hard drive right now, it's probably on my external. And that's not even plugged in. Oh, we reached the end of that. Uh, at some point in the future, I will try to remember to show you all a clip of that happening. Wait, what? Oh! Okay! Thanks, Chansey! 
Hey! Ethan has enough money! Hooray! Oh wow, I didn't even know that was a thing! Uh, glad I got that on camera! Uh, what a way to end it! Cool! For now, using Maddie's power of time travel, let's check out the other game! Because this is actually neat. In this generation, they have two games that you can gamble away your money. It's basically roulette. Pick what you think is going to be the card. Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Poliwag, and Oddish. along with what number is going to be. You can increase your odds by going closer to the side. For example, you can say it's going to be Pikachu of any number, but you'll get less money from it. So, just gonna do this for a little bit until we run out of cards. Probably not going to win this. Okay, so far it has not been Poliwag. Let's say Poliwag 4. Poliwag 3! Darn, that was close, but no cigar. You know what? Let's try this. Gonna hit hinge my bets on it being a three eventually. Hopefully this three? Actually, what you really want to do with this game is just pick one and stick with it. You're bound to actually hit it at some point. In theory. So far, this is not working out. Come on, give me a three. Well, there was that Poliwag four. Did I mention you should probably stick with one? Uh, ran out of cars. Okay, well, trying to win anyway. Win something would be nice. Would be nice if it happened on camera before we run out of money. But the Oz are looking pretty dang slim right now. Not enough coins. Reset! A rather time travel as the case may be. I'm gonna try that one more time though, because it would be nice to win once on camera with this. Of course, like I said, it would be easier to increase my odds and just say, for example, all of the threes. But I want to see specifically an Oddish of three. By the way, Oddish has the cutest sprite in Pokemon Silver. Or not Silver. In Pokemon Crystal. Because it's sitting like on its butt and does this little leg wiggle and tilts its head. It is super adorable in Pokemon Crystal. Anytime now. Okay, if we reach the point where the cards get shuffled, uh, I'm just gonna choose all threes. 
And that way we'll win at least something. How many coins are we betting each time again? Three coins each time? So... If the oddest three is picked, that means we win three times 24 coins. Which is a lot of coins. Did the shuffling already happen? It did already happen. Okay. Let's go for three times six. Let's try to win 18 coins before this runs out. In fact, this is our last chance, so, um... Doing this... Couldn't win once. It would have been nice to win at least once on a camera. Oh well, we've wasted enough time here. Regardless, time traveling anyway. Maybe I'll do that sometime off camera. Well, let's just move on. Also, Maddie is running off to do his own stream. Alright, I will send you a raid once this stream is over. By the way, we have been in this city for a long time now. Where are we? Goldenrod City. Ah, okay. The festive city of opulent charm. <laughs> I got in trouble for playing in the basement of the department store. You should have tried grabbing the items that they were holding down there. They apparently just want to give them away. I know there's a new bike shop, but I can't find it anywhere. If you treat your Pokémon nicely, they will love you in return. Oh? Let me see your uh oh It's quite cute. She is unfazed by the fact that Roboboy has a uh oh when I use an item on my Pokémon, it acts really glad. Oh yeah, there are various things that increase and de decrease the happiness of your Pokémon. I forget what specifically. It's actually interesting in Pokémon Yellow, because you can raise the happiness of your Pikachu, and what you can do in that is keep using a potion on your Pikachu. And even if its health is full, Pikachu's happiness will increase, so you can do that to max out Pikachu's happiness really quickly. Not that that is of much use, the only thing that making Pikachu happy does is get you a Bulbasaur, and your Pikachu does not have to be that happy to get Bulbasaur. The world is a psychopath. Bike shop. Well, that person who had trouble finding it just needed to walk down, and they would find it. Sigh. I moved here, but I can't sell my bicycles. Why is that? Could you ride a bicycle and advertise for me? Yes. Really? Great! Give me your phone, or your name and phone number, and I'll loan you a bicycle. Rubber Boy borrowed a bicycle. My bicycles are first-rate. You can ride them anywhere. Admittedly, your bike shop is a little bit out of the way. You got this tiny building here that nobody can pass, so... they have to go all the way around in order to reach your bike shop. Speaking of which... Bike time. And this item is a good one to... register to the select button. And there we go! We got faster travel now. You have anything to say about this? I know there's a new bike shop, but I can't find it anywhere. Well, apparently, doing this is not actually going to be good advertisement, since he's still clueless. Gear Force says it'll help me hatch. Ah, uh, kinda. If I were to, like, uh, if Robo Boy, rather, were to, like, ride up and down the street over and over again, you would in fact hatch eventually, if people would not get in Robo Boy's way. Out of curiosity, how you doing? 
Still need a lot more time to hatch. Is that man in black dressed up at, like a Team Rocket member? How silly. Nah, he's totally dressed up like a leader. So this is the radio tower. What do you want, you pest? Scram. Golden Rod City Radio Tower. They built the new radio tower to replace the old creaky one. I'm kind of curious where the old creaky one is, or if it was demolished and this was built on top of it. Golden Rod City Station. The train hasn't come in. I know! I'll carry the passengers on my back! That won't work. Are you being sarcastic? That's kind of rude. Eventually, we do get to ride a train in this game. It's kind of neat. Unfortunately, you cannot actually see it pull out of the station. The man at that house rates your Pokémon's names. You can even rename your Pokémon. You know, honestly, the ra name rater might as well just be called the name renamer. Because that's basically what he's good for. He'll just say, all of your Pokémon have okay names, but you want to have a better name. Unless they're a traded Pokémon. Trader traded Pokémon cannot be renamed. Pokemon City, or er, bleh. Golden Round City Pokemon Gen Leader Whitney, the incredibly pretty girl. Okay, how self centered do you have to be in order to have either your billboard say that you are incredibly pretty? I can't remember. Are you already here? Or do we have to meet you at the radio tower first? I know in the remix we had to eat the gym leader at the radio tower, but not in this game. Stripeback says eat the gym leader? Did I say eat? I said meat. I hope I said meat. Now I'm kind of curious. I'll, I'll have to remember to rewatch this. La 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 la. Have plenty of water, my lovely. When I watered that moving tree on Route 36, it jumped. I think it must be a Pokemon, but it would take someone like Whitney, our gym leader, to beat it. I'm surprised it didn't attack you. Because as soon as we water it, it'll attack us. I mean, you were just talking about how you need to be strong in order to beat it. But all you said was that it jumped. That is not the same as attacking you. Once while I was battling, my Pokemon couldn't make any moves. The power points for PP of its moves were all gone. Are you telling me what power points are for now that I am in the fourth or fifth city of this game? It's a little bit late to be telling me what those are for. Sometimes a healthy Pokemon may be unable to use its moves. If that happens, heal it at a Pokemon Center or use an item. Well, yeah, that that's another thing that you kind of should know by this point. Beer Force is asking if I got the radio card. No, not yet. I'm saving the ra the um, radio tower for next time on account that I do not have time now. And in fact, I need to end today's stream right now. Those of you watching this here at Twitch, stick around. I'll send you all on a raid to Maddie, who has just now started his stream. Oh right, Enslate. I have been doing a bad job at remembering to go to Enslate lately. It is important to me to go into Enslate 
on account of how much I love this picture. Also, it is a nice screen to be sitting on whenever I have, like, video clips or whatever you, the buttons to go onto other videos, that sort of thing. Whatever. We're ending today's stream. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.